It's Avery here with you on 987. This song became popular again. It was released in, if I'm not wrong, 2018 or 2016. My name is Avery, I'm 27 years old and I am a radio DJ on 987. We talk a lot. I talk to people that want to listen to music, but at the same time, they want a familiar voice and a friend, you know, when they're listening to their music as well, and I'm that person for them. But I think the good thing about this job is that we're able to kind of schedule our own time in a way that we see fit. 50% of it, I would say, is preparation with Jermaine. We do a lot of things like preparation for the show itself. We do pick some of the songs ourselves as well. It's not just a Spotify playlist, no. <laughs> so the show runs from 8 p.m. all the way to 12 midnight from Mondays to Fridays. Um, that takes up, I would say, about 20% of the job itself. We talk about daily issues in Singapore. We talk about um, connecting with the listeners, we take song requests, we play a lot of games, we give away prizes as well. Um, but that's where we're able to connect with our listeners the most. My first time on air was just pure nervous energy. Whether or not it's dead air, which is essentially a no-go. Or swearing on air. Language! Not fun, you don't want that to happen either that now that nervous energy is still there, but it's the need to want to make your next talk set better. So off air content nowadays is a lot of social media presence. We do a lot of social media content, a lot of filming. We're on basically every social media platform and that is a huge part of the job as well now. People want to know who you are. People want to be your friend. Right? And that's how we're able to engage with you. If you're not posting pictures and engaging with the people that want to know what's going on in your life, you're not really doing your job well enough. The amount of times people have said, hey, meet me for dinner, and I'm like, oh, I'm doing the show, and they're like, but isn't it pre-recorded? We go live on air on national radio, and that's why it's so scary, because there's no like redos. So whatever you're saying, it goes out. And that's why it is so important to be able to know what to say. I don't think radio DJs need a media education per se. My educational path was that I took a diploma in Sonic Arts. I think from there I had an internship with a sound and media company and I met a very close friend of mine, um, Sonia Chu, and then we became good friends and she was the one that kind of saw the potential in me. The way it works is you send in a demo, if they like it, you go through an interview, and then there's a one-on-one -on -one training for a long period of time, and only once they think that you're, you're ready, your diction, your pronunciation, your personality shines through your voice, then and only then will you be able to actually go on air. So every station has got a different kind of target audience and a different kind of business model in that sense. If like you're from Channel News Asia as well, you would definitely need to be very in-depth with knowledge of current affairs and stuff like that. I think some of the good skills that a radio DJ should have, definitely being a team player, working with your team, it is really so important that I think a lot of people overlook. I think radio DJs do need to know how to manage their time very well. When you're on the radio and you're, you're doing your show, you're cutting, editing audio files while it's still going on. So we talk and the minute the music plays, we're still doing more work. And you got to make sure that you're coming on once the music starts as well. So it's really all about being able to manage that time like you're saying. I think the best piece of advice I have for any youth that wants to become a radio DJ is to start practicing now. Constantly record yourself and listen to how you sound. Start hosting small events, right? If it's a birthday party, a wedding, a dinner, whatever you can do, try. If you want to be a radio DJ, don't think it's impossible because it's really not. 